Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. So you did it. You were able to get your hands on one of AMD's newest RX 6000 GPUs. And that's a big deal. Not only are they AMD's first cards to support hardware ray tracing, but they mark a pivotal moment that AMD hasn't seen in years, in that they're finally competitive in the high-end market. Of course, if you haven't picked up an RX 6000 card, I'll have affiliate links in the description. They don't cost you anything more, and they help the channel out. Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you the first 5 things to do with your new RX 6000 GPU. Starting things off, like with most any GPU, the first thing you want to do is to update your BIOS. Wait, that can't be right. This isn't a CPU guide. Uh, oh, okay. Yes, this is for AMD's newest smart access memory feature. And there is a caveat actually. Skip this step unless you own a Ryzen 5000 CPU and 500 series board. If you do, head to your motherboard manufacturer's website, find your motherboard, then head to the support page and look for the BIOS that mentions support for smart access memory, or SAM for short. If you don't see that, I'd suggest trying to update the newest BIOS. Then download that and install it into your BIOS. Most motherboards come with a utility that makes it easy to install. And when it comes to actually turning smart access memory on, I'll show you how later in the video. But first, what if I told you that you could build your very own website without writing a single line of code? Well, you can with today's sponsor, Squarespace, the all-in-one solution for creating a gorgeous website with ease. It's got pretty much everything you need from comprehensive analytics, search engine optimization, and even e-commerce tools for a fully-fledged online store. And anyone can do it. Just pick one of Squarespace's many beautiful templates, pick the name of the site, and get started. From adding new sections to even picking a color theme, it's easy. So what are you waiting for? Head to Squarespace for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use squarespace.com slash gamermeld to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. The next thing I suggest is actually what I suggest with all GPUs, and that's to uninstall your current GPU driver. Now, a lot of people online typically suggest not to worry about it because the old driver is deleted when you install that new one. That or to only do it when you're switching from one GPU maker to the other, like from AMD to Nvidia or vice versa. The issue with this is that there can be some files left that can cause problems later. That's why I personally suggest just going into your settings, find your driver and go through the uninstall process. Once you've done that, head to amd.com, go to drivers and support, then either install the automated driver tool or find your particular GPU in the dropdown and install the newest adrenaline drivers. Now from here, if you're having issues, you may need to install a driver cleanup program to fully remove registry keys or other files that weren't deleted. I'll have a free one linked in the description that I'm not affiliated with in any way. I just typically suggest it. Next up, if you are one of the ones who owns a Ryzen 5000 CPU and a 500 series board, restart your computer and head to your BIOS. From here, it's going to be different depending on your motherboard, but the basic steps are the same. You want to go over to likely your boot section and disable a setting called CSM. And actually, I suggest turning this off regardless because I've had boot issues when I had multiple drives that were caused by this being on. Anyway, from here, head to your PCI Express heading or section or whatever it may be and enable above 4G decoding and resize bar support. Then save your settings and you're good. Unfortunately, there's no way to see that it's now turned on, meaning there's no setting in their adrenaline software or anything. So unfortunately, you'll have to either test some benchmarks or simply trust that you did it right. The fourth thing to do is to right click the home screen in Windows and hop into your Radeon software. Once you're there, go to settings, then click graphics, and then choose the gaming profile. This turns on a couple nice features of AMD cards. First is Radeon Anti-Lag, which helps lower input latency, which means your inputs, like a click, are registered by the system faster. AMD actually quotes up to a 31% reduction in lag. And honestly, there's pretty much no reason not to have it on. The second feature is AMD's Radeon Image Sharpening, and this one can be a bit controversial, but it's a nice bonus for most. The feature basically uses an algorithm to sharpen images after the fact, and it does this with little to no performance penalty. 
It's mostly good for cleaning up your game when you aren't running it at your monitor's native resolution, and it really can make a difference. TechSpot has some great comparisons, though as they mention it can over sharpen things that you don't want sharpened. All in all though, it's a good feature. And lastly, it's time to overclock your new GPU. Now, before I get to this, I will say that if you don't know what you're doing, you run the risk of damaging your hardware, and I take no responsibility if that happens. With that out of the way, let's get to it. For one, the RX 6000 series can overclock like a monster. For more on what you can expect, check out my RX 6000 overclocking video. Either way, for this, I suggest using AMD's Radeon software, since at least for now, I've had issues with tools I usually use, like MSI Afterburner. Now head over to performance, then tuning, and manual. From here, it's really trial and error. Try to see how high of a max clock you can get that remains stable through your benchmarks, slowly moving up fan profiles and your power. Then work on your minimum clock and see if you can ease in a boost to the memory clock. After you get where you like, try some intense benchmarks that really test the overclock. And from here, you're good to go. It's time to play some games. So while that does it for today, let me know what GPU you got down in the comments below. And a thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And as always, have a great day.